Hey everyone, Pupsker here. Today, I want to go over the Soma Prime, and or Soma, but let's be real here, why wouldn't we go over the Prime version of the Soma if we have it? This rifle is very high attack speed, very high magazine. I think default magazine is 200 shots. It does have its very own mod for the rifle, so fun times will be had there. All in all, it's, I think, one of my most played weapons in the game. Yeah, one of, if, okay, not the most, but if I go and look for the Soma, I can probably find it and realize that, yeah, I've used a lot of time with it back in the day. I haven't used it a ton recently, but it is what it is. So if we just quickly jump over to the Soma Prime, we can see I've used it 13.2% of the time, and my Prisma Gricotta's 14.5% of the time. And I have 24,000 kills with the Soma Prime. As you can see, I used to shoot with this gun a lot more. Versus the Prisma Gricotta, I have 6,500 kills because melee is king. But that may change eventually, so we'll have to wait and see how that goes. For now, we're going over the Soma Prime. It doesn't have galvanized mods because that's not a thing yet. Instead, I have this build at the moment. It's not like a perfected build, I could still change things around, make it stronger, but this is the build I'm running for now, and there's a lot of shenanigans that could be had around the Hata Sataya, I mess that up for sure, the Soma Prime mod. Each hit increases critical chance by 1.2%, resets upon holstering or reloading the Soma Prime. So if you have a build in which you can have pretty much an infinite magazine, this will be ridiculous. I'm just gonna throw it on Mesa because, you know, we don't need that much power all at once. And then I have Split Chamber because multi-shot's fun, Crit because this thing has an insane crit multiplier by default, which is why you definitely want to throw this on to get the crit chance above 100%. And you do want to hit the enemies, no shock there. Hunter Munitions because, you know, if you can, it's nice, slash good, damage good, more crit, always good, right? Things that I should say proc off crit. You have Vigilante Armaments, more crit. I have Rifle Ammo Mutation here, just cuz. This can be swapped around, but realistically, I would need to form it a fourth time in order to, I think, throw on what I want here, so I'm not even gonna bother for now. And then Infested Clip, purely to have some sort of Elemental Multiplier and Toxins Fun, so hey, why not? So I like this gun a lot. I'm gonna go back into it, sorry. As you can see, it has an insane fire rate, really high magazine, decent multi-shot with these two on. The crit chance is high, but not over 100%, but with Vigilante Armaments proccing, with this proccing, it should do a ton more damage. Plus, I am pretty accurate with this because nothing is taking away accuracy, so that'll help increase the hit for everything. And come on, 6.6 .6 times crit multiplier is pretty fun. Of course, the damage on this is pretty low. I think it used to be a lot higher by default, but I do believe the Soma Prime got nerfed. If you have a Riven for this, I would 100% get a crit ribbon because oh my god would that destroy. I want to just quickly take this into steel path. It's not going to shred, don't get me wrong. I want to just see how easily it can kill. Just, we'll just run E prime quickly, right? We have Mesa prime, I have my regulators, so I want to do some damage tests because I'm honestly not too sure how strong this one gun may be for steel path. Especially when I haven't, like, fully optimized the build or anything, but, hey, I guess we'll find out. As you can see, I love the gun, but it's not amazing for Steel Path with this build. It just inherently has a really low damage amount, which is kind of a pain in the ass. Don't get me wrong, you can 100% use this gun if you have a fully optimized Soma Prime build and a uh, proper Warframe, I should say, to uh, use the gun. You know, ones that have certain buffs, infinite ammo, you can do a lot of cheese builds. 
but just as a regular build, it's not insanely overpowered on Steel Path, right? It's just kind of meh. Because Steel Path, generally, you'd want a good mix of damage and elements. And truth is, the Soma Prime just doesn't do that. It is a really fun, really strong crit weapon, but maybe less on the really strong part, maybe more on the really fun part. I used to use it a lot, but hey, I'm not rebuffing anything because I wanted to just quickly show off the gun, and it's really fun and great to use because you can just left click hit everything, but maybe if you don't have a fully optimized build, it's probably not great to take on Steel Path. That being said, you have 200 ammo, so you can just do this. If you're really bored, you can just shoot at all of the enemy Kubros. Oh no, not again. But again, I do have my regulators on. These do way more damage than the Soma Prime, so yeah. It's a really fun gun, and I am eventually going to make a stupid optimized build for it, but I'm waiting on the galvanized mods to drop to see how that goes, because hey, We'll have to wait on that. The game's currently in a really weird state, so I just wanted to jump around with the Soma Prime to show it off. I know, I know, not overpowered, not stupidly strong with this build, but oh my god, it's fun. It can do every, like, normal mission easily, right? Like, don't get me wrong on that. But the thing is, it's just, eh, Steel Path, rifles, they don't mesh well together unless you are very specifically making an optimized rifle build. Either way, it's a fun gun, does a lot of damage, so yeah, would use it if you like it, but just maybe not on Steel Path. Cool, that's where I'll end it. Thank you guys for watching this video, I just wanted to make a quick video for today, going over the cute little Soma Prime, as it is one of the weapons I've used the most, back in the day in Warframe at least, so let me know what you think, let me know if you like the Soma Prime, if you have your own sick actually optimized builds, if you run it on Steel Path for some reason, yeah, let me know. I just run it for fun, so it is what it is. If you like the video, if you like the channel, want to support it, you can feel free to use any of my links in the description for any of my social medias, Amazon, affiliate links, any of that, and you can use creator code Pupsker if you want to support the channel and you use the Epic Game Store. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.